So welcome back. Okay, today I'm going to be doing, you know, what the title said. I'm going to be doing what to do when your power goes out. Okay, but before we get into it, um, I would like you guys to take a second and subscribe um, and like while you're down there as well. Uh, go ahead, like, and if there are any, and if anything, any other questions you have, go ahead and let me know. Okay, um, but yeah, so let's, number one, <clears throat> okay. When your power goes out okay so let's say you live depends on where you live okay you know if you live you know around florida louisiana places where like gets a lot of hurricanes like somewhere where it gets a lot of hurricanes okay or like your power can go out for days weeks like i think the most power the longest our power has been out pretty sure it was hurricane irma um if anybody knows that one or remembers that one and our power was out for about a week and a half. Well over seven days. I think it was like nine days, ten days the power was out. Um, that was back way before <clears throat> I had aquariums. But still, you know, that's a long time. And think, you know, if you don't have power for over a week in you, and your aquariums, that's not good. So the first thing you can do is you can buy a charger, like a portable battery charger. Um, you know, you could charge it prior, and, uh, like, if you have a generator, um, you know, depending on how many tanks you have, and your generator might not be able to run, you know, all that, um, all the tanks. My generator will, uh, so, you know, I usually don't have this problem, um, but I, you know, I, my power doesn't usually go out. But anyway, just for other people, okay, you know, let's say you don't have a generator, okay? So what you want to do is, you know, there's a storm coming, I would at least buy multiple, maybe two, okay of these power chargers okay you know you, you charge it you know it'll charge it before and you can plug you know your things in and it will keep you know the tank going okay but you know you have so let's see, you got the heater the filter the aerator the lights okay you know that's everything that's about plugged in in your tank okay you know summer months where i live hurricane season it's in the summer um it's warm all my fish are tropical fish they don't need a heater um, they only need a heater in the winter time. That's the only reason I have them. Um, so heater, you don't need to be have that have that plugged in. LED lights. I like to have my lights plugged in. I actually do. Uh, it gives you know, if you, especially if you have live plants, you're going to need light um, in your aquarium um, for a certain amount of time. Aerator. You don't really need that because there's a tip that you can actually do um, to to aerate your water i'll get that i'll get into that in a second and your filter um you want to run your filter for about an hour a day when your power is out you know if you can run your power run the filter for about an hour a day and then run the led lights about four to five hours every day and uh you don't need to run your heater or your aerator you don't need to do any of that you know if you do have enough power supply to run your aerator go ahead and do it um if you have enough power supply to run everything in the tank do it you know, I'm just giving examples, you know, if you have a limited amount of power supply when your power goes out, I mean, this is what you need to do. So let's talk about how to aerate your water. Okay, so a few things you can do is you can do like a water change, let's say. Okay, you can take your water and drop it down here and then put new water in and there's air in that new water and your fish will be able to do that. Or you can take like a five gallon bucket, okay, and put it higher than the aquarium. You gotta put it higher than the aquarium. Um, so it drips down and you can get like a slow dripping siphon and siphon it down so it drips down into your aquarium and gives them aerated water. Um, you know, if you have a bigger tank like this, this is a 29 gallon, uh, I would probably do two five gallon buckets and that'll probably last you a while. Depends, you know, your drip, if it's, if it's not that fast, it'll probably last you about an hour, two hours and you can kind of, an hour and you just refill them with brand new water. Um, take, the, take the water out and then, you know, refill it, you know, it will give you... <clears throat> area of new water okay next heat okay like i said you don't need a heater you know if you have tropical tropical fish like platys betas um all these other fish but let's say you know you have a fish and you're up north or something i don't i don't really know a good example but you know let's say you're up north right and you need heaters and your power goes out okay what you could do okay now if you have well water um you know where i live you know city water well water you know i have city water 
okay so but when you have well water and your power goes out your water will turn off and your power so that's kind of a sucky situation to be in okay so when well water well water you know if you have well water then this isn't going to work but you have like city water you know your water doesn't turn out when your, your water doesn't turn off when your power goes out you know it's just normal you know water okay you need to you could if you if you're if you have a cold water fish okay you need to keep it warm and your and your power's out take some warm water you know get, get some warm water from your sink take half take you know drop it down you know 10 percent, 25 percent water change and take some warm water from the sink and dump it in there that's a good way to heat up the aquarium um or if it's too hot take some of that water out and dump some cold water in there same thing you know that's what you do to heat up your tank okay hmm. all right let's move on to led lights you know if you do have um L uh um plant live plants in your aquarium i don't but you know it's good for the fish too to have light like you cannot you can't just turn their light off for a whole week you know they'll definitely think something's up they will lose their color um you know it's not i like to keep my light on to keep them not so under stress like you know because they're gonna know what's going on they're going to know what is going on like they're gonna have some type of stress going um, so, I mean, if you have that light on, even not, not as long as you keep it on, let's say you keep it on 12 hours a day, it's not going to be as long as you do. Like if you have 12 hours a day, go ahead and put it on for like five or six hours a day, just to kind of reduce that stress level in the fish. Um, but what you could do, um, I do think they have battery powered LED lights that run off like double A's or triple A's or something, you know, look on Amazon or Walmart or, you know, go to your local pet store and look at LED lights. Um, I think they do. I actually did not check. Um, but that's what I will look into getting if, you know, it does come down to that. And then filtering your aquarium, filtering your aquarium is, I mean, you really don't have to do it, okay? You know, it would be good, you know, like I said, if you got that portable charger at uh, in the, in the start of the video, um, um, and then you can kind of plug it in for an hour or two a day, just get a little bit of water flowing, that would be perfect, um, you know, that would be great. Just, I don't have many things to do for your filter. I mean, I mean, other YouTubers might, but you know, I'm covering videos, you know, that are unique and that people ask, but people don't have videos about. So, you know, I'm just trying to get over it. Alrighty, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, it was a little bit late. Um, you know, it is 11 o'clock now. Uh, it probably won't be. It is 11 o'clock now when I'm filming this. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. And comment if you need any more things, like more video ideas. Like, I need some, you know, because I just did a two video bomber this weekend. Uh, next weekend, I'll try to do two videos if I can squeeze it in. Um, I do have break next week, so uh, possibly I might be able to get two or three videos in in the next two or three weeks coming. But um, yeah, guys. Uh, Please like, subscribe, uh, go ahead, comment, you know, what you want me to do, go ahead, be free, and, um, yeah, guys, uh, I'll see you in the next one.